Hi everyone, this is Shireen Purewall, your friendly Victoria realtor with your updates uh, about the real estate market and what's going on here in Victoria, BC. Okay, a lot of us don't know what's going on. I mean, we do, but at the same time, we don't know how long this will last. Is it speculative? Um, is it gonna be short-lived? All we know is we're an island. I always come back to the basics, we're an island. We're a beautiful island at that. Um, there is limited land on this island. Um, there is a lot of demand and limited supply. Okay, and that's what's happening right now. Again, we're seeing record breaking prices. And without further ado, let's get down to how you can find the statistics on, for every month uh, for the real estate market here in Victoria. So go to bchomegroup.ca under resources, go to blog. Okay, and the latest, we've got some updates here for first time home buyers programs. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the November 2020 real estate statistics for Victoria, BC. Alternatively, I send this out. If you sign up, send me an email. I'll sign you up for the newsletters. You'll get a newsletter once a month and I'm gonna to read to you basically what I'm sending out tomorrow. So you guys who are subscribed to the YouTube channel, get a heads up uh, from those who are signed up uh, with, uh, on the newsletter. Okay, so what do you want me to say? Record breaking, talk to any realtor, they'll be like, wow, this year was a busy year. And it sure was. The interesting one was right here. Sales of condominiums were up 62.7% since November, 2019. You would think, you would think that people are moving out of their condos. That's what I heard that's happening a lot in the U.S. People are moving out of condos and want homes on land. But what we've seen here is homes on land have gone up in demand. Condos have gone up. The whole inventory has gone up in demand. And I speak a little bit to this point. If you read further on, we had a Black Friday, by the way, mortgage deal sale. Um, if you're looking for a good mortgage broker as well, let me know. There's a fantastic team that I do deal with. Um, and they could put you on these deals that come up like the CIBC Black Friday deal that came up. Uh, HSBC had a good deal as well. Um, they could sign up for any of these opportunities when they do, do come the market's way uh, per se. Um, so there's so many factors. If you just look at the news, look at what's going on in the world and look at what's happening in Canada. To the world, we know what we're doing. <laughs> So people see that in the US, people see that in Europe, Canadians abroad see that and they're like, I want to go home, or this is where I want my home to be. So we're seeing that whole shift and movement uh, towards the island uh, and demand towards Canada in general. Like if you talk to other realtors in Toronto, Ontario, other parts are like, yeah, we've been busy. But here's the other thing. So and I touched to this on my newsletter right here. Goldman Sachs says it sees the risk of inflation as greater than, the at, than at any other time since the 1970s. Mark my words, the government is printing more money. So money is losing value, okay? How are they going to pay off this debt? They're going to start taxing the wealthy. It, it's going to happen. And the easiest way to tax the wealthy are capital gains. So what you're seeing right now, while the capital gains are low, you're seeing these investors sell, like you heard that CEO, I mean, I'm not going to say he's going to, he invested in real estate only, um, but like CEOs selling their shares, uh, corporate people selling their shares, people about to retire selling their shares and say, I'm going to cash in at the, this low capital gains, put it in, a, in an asset that's safe and secure, which is real estate, which has proven to be, that can be volatile too. But in general, even during the recession, Victoria was solid through the recession as far as maintaining um, prices and sustaining value. Um, so we're seeing this shift happening from market to real estate. We're not only seeing that, but we're also seeing money. Money's cheap to borrow. So what's happening is, okay, you mean I can borrow money from the bank at 1.8% and inflation is going to be 3%. So I'm, I'm borrowing money. It's becoming worthless and my asset is going up in value. Hello, guys, that's a perfect formula to invest in real estate. <laughs> You're making money with the bank's money is essentially the, 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 
the logic that is going through a lot of first time home buyers head and the with these low interest rates where it's, there's so many factors but having said that though guys i'm not saying you have to buy i'm not saying you have to sell i'm saying do your due diligence but this is what the thoughts some of the thoughts that are out there in the market and how people are thinking when they're making their real estate investment and real real estate investment choices okay so what do I foresee in the future here? I've got another thing. Yeah, home prices now, the average home price was 857 last year, right here, 2019, November. It's increased by 5% to 903,000, guys. We are getting close to 1 million, believe it or not. Okay, so lots of good information in this newsletter. Let me know if you want to have this every month delivered to you. I do talk about a bit about the market and investments a little bit. That's the, the nerdy economist in me coming out. Um, but uh, uh, you'll get a lot of good real estate statistics here. Um, and if you need good context, I'll try to throw in some more information. And if you have a question out there that you want answered related to real estate, if I can't answer it, I'll get a lawyer to answer it. I'll get a, a subcontractor to answer it. Please send them my way. I want, I want to help. I want the more information I can give the viewers out there, the easier it is for them to make the right choice. At the end of the day, I'm not going to make the decision for you. You need the information so you can make the best decision for you. I did uh, see some new information come out about for first time home buyers. Uh, I did post it on my blog. So any information I get, I do post on my blog. So do check out their strata insurance update for Victoria. Um, what is it here? It's saying for the first time home buyers since its obsession. So what they've done is the buyer's uh, income threshold has been raised from 120 to 150. So that means you can now, those who could afford 505, $100,000 um, dollar homes can now have been bumped up to looking at homes in this higher price range. But bear in mind, cost of goods have gone up, guys. Cost of metals have gone up. Cost of wood. What is it? Wood lumber's doubled in some, some areas. So where is that all going to get factored into? Cost of build. Cost to build a building. Where you're going to see homes are going to go up as a result of that. So I see food prices going up, home prices going up. But guys, don't worry. Don't panic. Um, the government is going to help. Money is cheap to borrow as well. It's all gonna, it's all gonna get figured out. But my only thing is right, right now we have travel restrictions and this is what's happening. Once the borders open up, remember the whole of Vancouver Island does not have foreign buyer tax, does not have vacancy tax. Why do you think prices in Couchin have gone up the roof? There's no foreign buyer tax there. There's no vacancy tax there. I touch about that in my newsletter as well. Okay. So, so foreigners can come in here. They can still come in here and invest and they're welcome to, I mean, Canada is an open welcoming country, but I just want to explain that for the locals who do want to get into the market, you have to consider all these factors uh, when deciding to make your move or not, or whether you want to sell or, you know, retire or whatever your situation is. Um, feel free to call consult. I, I will give you my opinion, my personal opinion, but at the end of the day, you got to make the best choice for you based on current circumstances and what you foresee the future doing. Nobody has a crystal ball and don't let anyone tell you they do have one. Uh, I'm just basing all my opinions in this video on um, on statistics, trends, and what I foresee based on existing trends. Those trends can change like this. As we saw, no one saw COVID happening. Everything spiked back up, okay? Uh, what else can I say, guys? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. These are the November statistics on the website. Go have a look at it. See how much supply has been on the market, how much things are moving, the condo prices, the condo increase in condo sales was a big shock to me. Um, I thought, I do think there's still quite a bit of condo supply. So those who are thinking of getting into the condo market, I think there's opportunities you could grab up. Home on land, I'm telling, I tell all my buyers this, if you're looking for certain income brackets, so anything under 800 guys, if you're looking for a home on land, we gotta see it the same day it's listed, okay? 
we have to see it the same day it goes on the market because there's a big, big demand in that price group. Okay. And we have a lot of competition. Between one to two million, we're seeing quite a bit of activity over two million, depending on how attractive the property is, you got to make a move fast as well. But I mean, there isn't a category where there's, it's been crazy. Um, all groups are pretty much moving, uh, but the condo market, there are more opportunities for sure. Uh, so get in touch with me um, and let's see how we can help you make your move and download my real estate app, uh, get on my newsletter, get yourself information because at the end of the day, the best decision you can make is based off of information and what the story, the data is telling us is, is, is key. Anyways, lovely people, I love to talk, as you can tell, <laughs> and but I love to talk because I love to help. And um, if I could be of any help to you guys, we'll gladly do so. Cheers, everyone, and have a great day. Bye now.